In this video we're going to look at vectors and essentially resolving vectors into what's called the components. And you use this technique when you are working with a right triangle. All right. So let's take a look at the example. A man pushes on a car with a force of 200 pounds at an angle of depression of alpha 37 degrees. What is the horizontal component of the force vector, the only part that is in the direction of the movement? So the idea is there's a car. And there's a man pushing on it. Like that. And the idea is relative to the horizontal, right? Relative to the horizontal, this is 37 degrees. And it's an angle of depression. So here's a horizontal relative to this horizontal. It's an angle of depression, 37 degrees. So we want to know what is the horizontal component of this force vector. Now here's the force vector right here in this direction. So essentially what we have is a right triangle like this. Right? This is the force, which we know is 200 pounds. Right? We have an angle here of 37 degrees. And we want to know what is the horizontal component, which is this part right here. Right? Because really the car, the only, it's not like the car is going to go up or down you're really only concerned about that part, which is the horizontal component, because that's the direction the car is going to move in. All right? Now, relative to this, then, what do we have? Well, this, relative to this angle, this is the adjacent, whoops, sorry, this is the adjacent, right? So we're back to our regular um, definitions of the, what we began with our trigonometric ratios. So this is the adjacent, and this is the Here's my right angle. Okay. So this is my uh, hypotenuse. So which function or which trig ratio works with adjacent and hypotenuse? That would be cosine. So essentially we want to know what is the cosine of 37 degrees is equal to this adjacent, what I'm looking for, over F, which is 200. So now all I want to do is solve for the adjacent. So that's 200 cosine of 37 degrees. Now be sure your calculator is in degree mode. It's very easy to forget if you're going back and forth from radians to degrees. So when you find this out, you're going to get 159.7 pounds. Right? So you can round to about 160 pounds. All right. Thanks for listening.